in this how to we are going to learn that how to log an error in the log file okay and here we are going to create one log file per day so for every day one log file will be there on my hard disk so for that let me create one ASPX page and on, on my ASPX page I have a label control as you can see here and then in the page load event uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to create one error so let me create one error here is my page load using the application exception object so what I have done is that in the drive block I am simply writing throw new application exception and inside that I am passing one custom uh, message so my message is throw error I can pass anything here but, but just for this demonstration purpose I have explicitly thrown an error of application type and pass throw error as the uh, message now what will happen is that when uh, this page will load it will come naturally come to this particular line and it will throw this error now when it will throw this error it will uh, that error will be cast into the exception block into the catch block sorry and in this catch block we have catched the parent exception class and it will basically write one error message saying that sorry an error occurred please try again later and then I have called a log error method by passing the complete error that will occur into it so let me create a log error method as well here so here is my log error method log error method and yes yes now in order to use this log error method we need to use couple of namespaces and then that namespaces has been mentioned in this ebook at the top using system.io and using system.globalization so let us copy paste th these namespaces as well now let us try to understand this log error message in the log error message what we are doing is that first we are trying to find out that uh, whether a file exists for today's date or not because here we are just uh, creating the the file name with a today's date and if that file exists into my root folder then simply use that file and if it doesn't exist then create that file so I'm going to create that file using file.create method and passing the file name as a parameter and once we have the file then what we can do is that we can, we can uh, append the text the actual error that has occurred that is being passed into this method use, uh, using the stream writer so what we are doing is that we are writing, writing using stream writer w equal to file dot append, append text and then we are passing the file name as the parameter and then using that stream writer we are uh, using the write line method and logging the error so I am like writing log entry and then I'm passing the uh, uh, the current date today's date as the parameter and then we are saying that okay the error is in which URL and what is the basically error has occurred so the error message is the actual message that is being passed into this and then we are writing the some horizontal line just to separate this particular error with the next error that will be logged and ultimately we are closing that this particular writer and then if an error has occurred into this uh, uh, method as well then we are simply throwing the error because we can't do anything else now generally you can put this log error method into any of your utility uh, class files where you keep all your uh, uh, frequently used methods but here in for this demonstration I have kept this log, log error method into this uh, code behind page uh, itself now you can see that I do not have any uh, file here let me refresh this folder and you can see that I do not have any text file now I am going to run this page and you will see that one text file will be created because I am throwing the error here explicitly so let me create uh, let me run this page so I am running this page and sorry an error card please try again later it is coming here and this log error method will naturally execute and it will create one text file and log the error so now let me refresh this uh, folder and we will see that that text uh, file had been generated and the complete error message has been written 
now let us create some different kind of error so i'm writing where i is equal to 5 where j is equal to 0 and then i am writing where result is equal to i divided by j and then i am writing response dot write result now naturally this error this code should also throw error because you cannot divide any number by 0 now when i will uh, run this page you will see that because this text file has already been created for two days date then so what it will do is that it will append the error into this particular file see here only only this much of uh, text is there now when i will run this page let me run this page again and you will see that again it has error uh, given me message saying that error has occurred and it has written this code now there is another uh, uh, text error uh, text as well because i have refreshed the page so that's why it has added two now see that you can uh, here we have an error called divide by zero attempted to divide by zero and the complete error description is coming that on which line on which url the error has occurred so this is the way to to basically create a, a log file in asp.net and this log file in this demonstration i have shown that how to create a different different log file for different different dates now the next how to is how to log errors in the system event <coughs> in the previous how to we saw that how to log error in the text file but in this case we are going to see that how to log error in the system event in order to log error in the system event we just need to tweak little code so here what i am going to do is that i am going to again create one sample page and in this page we have a label and we have a button and in this on the click of the button we are executing a raise error method so let me create a raise error method so here is my raise error method yes and uh, let me uh, delete all the existing code from here here is my raise error method and then in this raise error met method we are calling log error method again so here is my log error method also and in this uh, code behind we will have to use system dot diagnostic namespace because using this namespace you will be able to access the system event so that's why i have used here system dot diagnostic namespace now let us see this whole code behind code uh, from the top so here i think i have removed the uh, page load event so let us write page load event as well here okay so on the click of the button we are uh, executing a raise error so here, here is my raise error method in this raise error we have two variable i and j i is equal to 5 b is equal to 0 and in the try block we are trying to divide uh, 5 by 0 and that will actually throw error and when it will throw error it will come to the divide by 0 exception because i have cached with the divide by 0 exception first and if some error kind of other kind of error will occur then it will come into this block in this both cache block i am calling the log error method by passing the complete error that will occur and in this log error method what we are doing is that we are first creating uh, first we are checking for the event source so here my event source for this demonstration purpose i have written demo error application and if this uh, event source doesn't exist now so what it will do is that using using this create event source method it will create one event source by passing the source name and the log name as the parameter now if this source already exists then what it will do is that it will, it will use that uh, source and it will simply uh, write the error message that is in being passed into this log error so here i have used event log and then we have specified the source of this particular uh, error log and then we are framing the error message that we want to log and using uh, log object uh, sorry event log object dot write entry method we are passing the error the exact error that we have to log and the type of error that occurs so there are th many types of error using uh, enumerations of event log entry type you can use either error or failure audit information or success or warning type of error here because this is the complete error so i have used the error log entry type dot error enumeration value 
now when I will run this page you will see that uh, we, uh, because it will throw errors so my one more error will be written into my system event so let me er open my system event first so I am going to my uh, computer and then clicking on manage now here, here is my uh, computer management so you can come to the event viewer and then you can come to the application and services log so first let us run this page so here is my code and I have right clicked and then I have run this page now when I will run this page what will happen is that it will basically create one error you can see that because of this divide by zero and when we will see this you can uh, see here into my event viewer here is my demo error you can see that uh, I had created the demo error event log and under that a demo error it has logged an error you can see here using demo error application as a source you can see this source demo error application and see that what is the actual error that has occurred so it will be into the its description so here is the description of the error that has occurred divide by zero exception attempting to divide by zero and here is the line number line number 25 here is the line number 25 you can see here so in order to log the error into the system event what you can do is that you can first check for the the log sorry source if that source exists if it is not then using the create event source method you can create the source and then you can use the event log object and uh, using that object you can uh, 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 basically write the error into the system log one very important point to notice here is that in order to log the error into the system event you must have the administrative privilege uh, to, to the ASP.NET runtime account if you will not have naturally you will get the error